Welcome, this is lecture 7, or day 7, you can refer to. We are learning 3D Studio Max, and uh, you're watching 5 Minute Max, uh, where you give your 5 minutes, where you're like relaxed and uh, trying to learn something about a program which can do craziest things. Uh, so it's a uh, it's first jam, so it was New Year. Uh, couple hours ago so it's actually um, almost half past two and um, it's been awesome uh, lots of crazy stuff happened uh, around the city but uh, we are learning now even at this hour because it's a promise that every day you are going to learn something and um, that's what's happening uh, so in previous lectures, I have given you like um, the you know, recap where you have learned all the stuff that you have learned in previous classes or refresh your memory so that you can like just jump back and start understanding um, how and what are the shortcut keys of different to tools are like selection tool, select object and select and move, select and rotate and scale. Now in this one we are learning the three very very strange buttons right here, these ones. Um, they are like lone and they're in between like the other uh, buttons that we usually learned already. Select ob object and in between select and move. These three ones. So Little, little fast, we'll learn about these ones because uh, they're um, you don't often use them, not that often. From experience, I'm telling you this. This is select by name, so if you press on that, and this will bring up uh, the select from scene. If you have seen, if you have witnessed the previous uh, lecture, you will know that I have uh, separated all these different objects, W as an object. Um, and then like R is an object, Q is an object, and E is another object. So you can like select them by object and you can go there straight. If you know like if you renamed your objects properly, so say this is W, double click on that one, so this is going to W. Now if you like uh, click on Q, it's going there. So uh, you can, it's a li mini list which where you can like uh, jump from one object to the other, but which is like named appropriately and you can already understand um, the naming convention so we'll learn about that in another lecture so that's that the center one is like si si uh, circular selection region tool you press that when you're like uh, selecting something and dragging your mouse you see like the rubber band is not square anymore it's circular Sometimes for like selecting group of like uh, different stuff, um, vertices, polygons, or faces, which we will learn as well, you usually have to like use these sort of like methods uh, instead of just uh, this selection method, which is a uh, rectangular selection region. So that's how you can like usual people like nine percent of the time you'll be using this. Uh, maybe one percent time you'll be like also using the spray paint uh, selection. So if you uh, uh, if you like paint region tool and uh, if you depress this one you can like uh, save different parts using like the spray paint um, I'll show that on another class but this is also like if you drag a ball around it and uh, it will select everything say I just want to like save these two and it just selects I want to actually save this one and this goes there and uh, that's different type of selection this is window slash crossing, it's pretty easy. If you press that, and if you select the entire thing, um, then it will be selected. Otherwise, it won't be. Like, the entire thing is uh, selected, but if you just like try to like select it like this, it will not be selected. So, like that. Like, if you just like that, it's not selecting. If you like entirely take that, it will select. So that's all about these three different like buttons um, in the middle. So hope you enjoyed this lecture and I'll be seeing you on the next five minute segments on tomorrow.